Hello everyone and welcome to Beginner's Code. Today we are going to learn how we can use matplotlib, flask and pandas to output data from a CSV file to a graph in a web browser on our local machine. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like below. So firstly, I've opened my um, folder within Visual Studio Code. I've got a CSV site. And inside here we have students.csv. It's just a group of students with different numbers um, depending on each subject. So the first thing we're actually gonna do is we'll create two folders inside of the um, main folder that we're actually working from. So we'll have one called templates and then another called static. Templates will hold our index.html file, so we can create that now. And then the static will just hold the figure from the um, pandas library, well, from the matplotlib library. So inside the CSV site, we will create a Python file and we'll call that csv site.py. And then here is where we're actually gonna do our Python code. So in order to make sure that this works effectively, we need to have Flask um, installed, Pandas installed, and matplotlib installed. Now these can all be done in the terminal just using pip install. So here we will use from Flask. We will import Flask, render template, and send file. We'll also import pandas as pd, and then we will import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then finally, we will import base64. Now, we will initially start this by creating an instance of Flask. So we'll say app is equal to Flask, and then we will pass in underscore, underscore, name, underscore, underscore. Now, we need to do some logic for actually generating the, um, the pi plot. So we will create a function called generate plot. And then we will use a new variable called data and we will assign it to pd.readcsv. And this will actually take in the name of the students.csv file. Next, we will use the data variable and we will assign a key of average grades. And we will, sorry, and we will make that equal to the data.mean. And with, with this, we will pass in axis one, which means that we will be using rows. Um, next, we will use plt.switch backend and pass in ag, and that will just allow us to actually use this in the in, within Flask. And then we will use plt.figure, fig size is equal to 10 by six. And 10 by six is a tuple. And then we will use plt.bar and we will pass in data with the name, data with average grade, and then the color of sky blue. Next we will use plt.x label and we will pass in students and then plt.y label and pass in average grade. And then plt.title and we can give the actual chart a title here. So average grade from students. Then we will say plt.xticks and here we will say rotation is equal to 45 degrees and we will say the horizontal alignment is right. And then we will use the tight layout function. Finally, we will save the fig or the figure. And here we will save it into the static folder that we made earlier. 
and we will just call it average grades PNG. So now that we have our plot generated, we can use some Flask logic and we can say app.root and we'll just pass in the forward slash. So this will be the home page. We'll say define index. And here we will create, we will um, call the generate plot function and we will save the figure. So fig is equal to static forward slash average grades dot png. So you need to make sure that this is named the same as that. And then we will return render template, which will allow us to actually render the index.html with this fig variable. So we'll say index.html and then plot data is equal to fig. Now we can use some logic to actually serve the static files. So we'll say app.root and here we'll say forward slash static forward slash and then we'll pass in path and file name and this will actually allow us to use the average grades for, um, PNG, for, P, PNG image that we have within the static fo, uh, file and here we will say serve static so this is a new function with the file name passed in and then return send file which was imported earlier, and we will use an f string, and we will say static forward slash file name. And then finally, we will just use the if name double equal to main. App dot run and debug we will set to true just in case we have any issues and this should be all the python logic that we actually need so now if we head over to the index.html we can use a html5 boilerplate we can change the title to say student average grades and then inside the body what we'll do is we'll just create a h1 and we'll just say student average grades and then we will use an image tag and we'll say image source. And then here we'll use some ginger syntaxing and we'll pass in plot underscore data. Now, if you wanted to change this from being something else, all you'd need to do is just change that variable to say fig. And then you could also change this to fig. So this will match up with whatever is passed in here. And then this one matches the data that you're actually passing in. And we will just give it an alt of average grades. So now if we head over to terminal and we CD into our folder, then we can say Python 3 CSV and we have a localhost set up. If I copy this and then head over to Google and paste this into there, we get error name. I think it might be a capital N. So if we go back to here, yes. And then if I head back and refresh, we now have a graph plotting everyone's average grade which is accessible on your local host. Hopefully this has helped you grasp how we can use different libraries to make data much more visual and accessible. If you learned something in this video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel to see more like this.